And in closing moments. Malone, lots of room. Got it. That's their pet play. Malone goes over like he's going to the post and screams for Stockton. And he rolls out and hits the huge jump shot. Jordan spinning. Double team. Has to get rid of it. Gets it right back from Pippen. Double pump, knocked away by Carr, and a foul. Isaiah, normally on this play, Malone goes to the post. This time he goes and screens, so Stockton can get to the middle of the floor. A mix-up, they trap, no one rotates, and Malone buries the shot. Now, on this defensive possession, Hornacek, I thought, should have run at Michael Jordan and made him pass the ball back to Scottie Pippen. You got to take the ball out of Jordan's hands right now and make Harper or Pippen beat you from the perimeter. Jordan's 9 of 12 now at the strike. Now you look at the job that Russell is doing against Jordan. He's keeping him out on the perimeter, not allowing him to come into the post. He hits them both, making it a two-point game with exactly two minutes to play. Stockton. Russell with a huge rebound. Tried to throw it off Rodman's leg as he was walking a tightrope and couldn't do it. Chicago back looking to tie. Michael. Short. Rebound Stockton. The jumpers come up short when fatigue is a factor. It's true of anyone, even the best of them. Rodman got in front and knocked it loose, but Chicago touched it last. Phil Jackson hot over that call. A minute 14 remaining. Watch Hornacek on this play, wrapping off a triple screen. Stockton for three! That would have been a dagger in Chicago's heart. Instead, they could tie it or take the lead with a three of their own. Jordan. And a blocking foul. Stockton is down on the floor. Jordan's going to come to the line at Stockton's fourth. You watch, you watch Jordan fake like he's coming to the middle again. Russell gives him the baseline. Stockton comes over a little too late. Call the blocking foul on Stockton. Jordan again at the free throw line. He cuts it to one. Phil Jackson has told the Bulls during the last couple of timeouts, let's try to take it to the rack, go to the basket, not look for the perimeter shot. Jordan ties it. Maybe the 22nd timeout was, as much as anything, just to give him a breather to gather himself for the crucial free throws. 50 seconds. Malone. Cross court Stockton, a three, it's there! <laughs> Pippen into Jordan. Michael working on Russell. Brings them to within one. They scored within four seconds there. That's how quickly that changes now. Now it puts the pressure on the Jazz to score once again. Jordan with 43. Malone is doubled. They swat at it and steal it. Here comes Chicago. 17 seconds. 17 seconds from game seven or from championship number six. Jordan open. Chicago with the lead! Timeout, Utah. 5.2 seconds left. Michael Jordan running on fumes with 45 points.
This was really the play that hurt Isaiah because they scored so quickly. Michael got in there and scored within four seconds. And what, and what happened was Michael doubled back. You're going to see he's in the play. Look where Hornacek is setting the screen. Michael never clears, so Malone doesn't see him. He comes from the blind side and strips him. So three crucial plays here by Michael Jordan now as he gets Brian Russell with a quick crossover. Look at Brian Russell slips, and Michael pulls up and buries the shot to give him a one-point lead. That may have been. Who knows what will unfold in the next several months, but that may have been. The last shot Michael Jordan will ever take in the NBA. Watch Jordan's left hand here as he gives Russell the push. And the referee can't see that. Jordan frees himself up for a clean look. The greatest thing about Jordan is he has all the tricks. That's why it's so difficult to guard him. If that's the last image of Michael Jordan, how magnificent is it? Stockton, Hornacek. Antoine Carr, Carl Malone, and Brian Russell. If they score, there's a game seven. If they don't, for the second straight year, they go out in six. Stopped it. Harper's on him. Behind the screen. Harper got a piece of it. It comes off. The Chicago Bulls have won their sixth NBA championship. And it's their second three-peat. When you lose by this narrow margin, speaking of the Utah Jazz, there are so many things to look back on. But the Howard Isley three that was taken away in the first half will eat at them all summer long. Jackson and Jordan, perhaps for the last time. Phil Jackson had seen all of Michael Jordan's heroics, and he called that last sequence against Utah his best performance ever in a critical situation. Michael's last shot turned out to be the last hurrah for the Bulls dynasty. Jackson, Scottie Pippen, and Dennis Robin all departed that summer, and Jordan announced his retirement a few months later. But while his game-winning shot seemed like the perfect ending, Michael's career would have a very different ending with the Washington Wizards. Thanks for joining us on NBA TV Hardwood Classics. I'm Spiro Ditas.